Hi everybody and welcome to Traveling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. I'm right in the center of Moscow today. I'm in Pushkin Square. I'm at the very famous location of what was the original McDonald's and I'm here now at Kuzna Itochka because effectively today they've announced that they're going to release or they have released because it's open already the big Mac no the big hit so we're going to go in and try the big hit and see if it's a hit or not now for anyone that doesn't know Moscow at all or doesn't know Russia no worries at all this is Pushkin Square which is pretty much one of the most famous kind of squares in Moscow and Moscow region along with places like the Kremlin uh, where a lot of people kind of come to gather, they come to meet, they meet friends and you can see just off in the distance there Alexander Pushkin uh, overlooking the whole <laughs> traffic jam it's always traffic here on this intersection uh, this is the road that leads down to uh, the Kremlin and then down to Red Square and as we turn around here we can see the very famous location that used to be McDonald's now it's Kuzna Itochka tasty and period or tasty and that is it now there's a lot of conjecture about how the word Kuzna Itochka is translated from Russian to English so unfortunately you know the literal meaning tasty and period or tasty and that is all is kind of the best way to kind of make uh, the explanation of it for you and it's in this kind of uh, original building here now of course this place originally opened back 30 years ago and this whole square here was crowded with people there was lines for hours and hours to get inside now back in June I was also here for the reopening and actually I was standing just across the road uh, over by the park here there was all media there was TV uh, channels wanting to film the opening and this whole area was crowded again a second time uh, because people wanted to come to see the reopening now back then the cafe wasn't open they've now reopened the cafe here so you can see uh, the machines right there the yellow machines and originally when it opened they wouldn't even open these side doors you had to go in the front because there were so many people inside that it wasn't it, they just wanted to manage the traffic of course but the logo is very very uh, I want to say kind of uh, not as visible as what the golden arches used to be is it has for tea? you know you can still see it up there but it really blends in with the building this is a uh, has been remodeled in the last I want to say about five years so when McDonald's left it and Kuzni Tochka took it over they kind of gained a nice shiny bright building and they've got their logo up there so if anyone hasn't seen this before it kind of looks like the M right kind of but the idea is it's a circle which is a burger and two fries if that makes sense you can kind of see it when I explain it but a lot of people have misinterpreted as the M for McDonald's but of course we know it's Kuzni Itochka now I thought at first we'd just sort of walk in and check it out and just see if it's busy what the vibe is like I'm coming in through the cafe end so I thought we'd sort of walk all the way through and just check it out and see how busy it is see if everybody's having the big hit you know it's just released everybody in Russia has been waiting you know almost a year for this burger to be released and it's here today so this is the part of the video that I'm going to give you a warning that you're going to be seeing lots of food you're going to be seeing lots of tasty food and you're going to be hopefully if you're hungry make sure that you watch the video later so of course when Kuzni Itochka first opened the cafe didn't open for a lot a lot of months later but now they're back open they're trading there's a couple of ladies behind the counter there and now let's have a look at the snacks here oh cheesecake strawberry cheesecake there's some cookies very nice there's even 
uh, these ciabatta sandwiches as well. So you don't have to come here for burgers. Come here for nice coffee and cake. Sit down and relax. And everything is as normal. Now if you look up the uh, information about this Pushkinskaya location, they actually say it was one of the busiest McDonald's in the world. Now, it's actually built over three levels. It's kind of got an upper and lower mezzanine. So there is seats and tables everywhere. So you can sit on the upper level. You can sit where the cafe is. We can come down the steps here to the, this kind of middle level. And there is a lot of places to sit. And a lot of places are filled up as well. So now this is the middle of the day today. This is the first day that you can get the big hit. So I don't know how many people knew about it except me, but I'm sure some lovers of Kuzni Itochka are here only because the big hit is on the menu. Now this is the main kind of trading area here. And you can see how big the actual uh, ordering stations are, and then the pickup stations, and then how many uh, self-checkouts there are. You can also order from the ladies off in the distance. And then just walking around here, how big it is. Now it does, <laughs> the camera probably doesn't do it justice. It is considerably bigger when you're in here than any, any normal Kuznitoshka in all of uh, Moscow, Moscow region, anywhere in Russia. So, yeah, let's sort of figure out ordering ourselves the big hit and see what it's like. Now I have a kind of an interesting thing for everybody. Now if you want to see an alternative video to this one, I have a friend who is in Vladimir in regional Russia, in provincial Russia. His channel is called Sam's Russian Adventure. I'm going to put a link to it. He's actually made a corresponding video to mine and we're going to have a bit of a comparison of what it's like at his Kuzni Itochka and what it's like at the one here in Pushkin Square. So check out his video. There's going to be a link to it in the description so you can see what he thought of the burger versus what I thought of the burger. Now just to point out it is currently Monday at 2 p.m. that I'm here. So this is a working day. It is just after lunch. So now I didn't expect it to be busy like it would be on a Saturday or a Sunday but there is still a lot of people here. Now, just keep in mind, we're in the center of Moscow here, so I can walk to maybe eight or nine or 10 other Kuzni Itochkas if I want to, all within about a 15 or 20 minute walk from this location. So there's a lot of places I can go and get a burger, but I chose to come to the original, original location of what was the original McDonald's now. It does feel a little bit empty here. When other, other times I've been here, obviously I come on the weekends a lot. I don't tend to come midweek. And look how spacious it feels. Now you can actually go to the register here and order the food. The ladies will help you out. Uh, mostly people come there where they want to pay cash versus using your card and doing the self-checkout. So once you order your food over here and then they've got the pickup over on this side. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the ordering system at this self-serve kiosk here, so it's a little bit easier. They've even got a special already. You can get a two Big Mac deal. So now this is very handy here. We can put it in English and then we can choose dine in, which is what I'm going to do. And then the menu pops up now. This looks awfully, awfully similar to the original system here, barring the logo up the top. That's the tiny difference. Now there is a couple of other new things on the menu as well. And that's kids combos. Now I might just quickly show you this. So you can get the kids combo, which is nuggets. And then there is different uh, burgers, nuggets. And then you actually, instead of getting a toy, you get a book. So you can actually read a book to the kids or the kids can read their own book. Uh, you can choose the food that you want. And then you've either got for the extras, carrots, apple sticks, and then the nice thing here too, there's no sodas. Have a look, it's orange juice, apple juice, or water. So the kids have a reasonably healthy uh, menu to choose from. Now we're gonna go to new items right here. 
This is what we're interested in right here. So the Big Hit's got a two burger promotion. The Big Hit, that's the single. That's the double one, that's the double Big Hit. So that's the, what would be the double Big Mac. And this is the classic one here. So 165 rubles. The double one is 225. Or two regular Big Hits for 299. And then I just noticed as well, which wasn't really known to me until I walked in, they've also got the chicken hits. So do we want to continue? Yes, we do. They've got a very fast time out here, but they've got the chicken premier jalapeno, chicken hit jalapeno. So it's kind of like spicy chicken burger. And then their seasonal one right now is the Mont Blanc burger. So it doesn't sound very Russian. It sounds more like European, but we're going to get ourselves the big hit right here and we're going to get the big hit combo the classic combo and we just want some fries medium fries we don't need any sauce and select the drink now i'm going to go for the cold drinks and in place of coca-cola they now have dobra cola which if you're not aware dobra cola was actually the brand that was the, well, the factory was Moulton Partners, was the original manufacturer of Coca-Cola. And since Coca-Cola left Russia, they're now producing the, I'm gonna have the classic Dobra Cola. They're now producing the Dobra Colas in the factories that produced Coca-Cola. I hope you're getting me on this. I have made a separate video about, can I get Coca-Cola in Russia? You could watch that on the channel. Add to the order. So I just want the absolute classic meal. They also have sticker mania right now, which is similar to the Monopoly. So you get the little stickers that you peel off and you can win prizes. I'm not sure, can you win a car? Can you win a house? Complete my order. So 276 rubles for the classic big hit combo, fries and Dobra Cola medium. And it's as simple as that. Pay by contactless payment. So I just tap my card. Now, a lot of people got a little bit upset with me showing my card last time. Would I like to give some money to charity? Unfortunately, today not. And that's pretty much it. So we've got our number here, 796. And then if I go over to the screen over here, I should see my number here pop up. Now I've got to pick mine up from booth number one. Right here is actually booth number two. So one thing that's noticeable is the amount of staff here. There is a lot of people here, even though it, it sort of feels quiet, but a lot of people do the self checkout and then they you, know, you can even order on your phone and then just pick up right at the kiosk as well. But this is the normal counter. You can see everybody working away in the back there. I got a little conveyor belt for the burgers right there. How neat is that? And then I'm over here somewhere. Let's see, 796. Now there's quite a few ahead of me. So you'll see there, we're just in the middle of all the numbers there. So as I wait for my burger to be ready, I just want to apologize, of course, this is a little bit of a longer video. It's more of a review of the burger and what the big hit combo is like. But I thought I'd give you a bit of a, just a bit of an overview of the restaurant and a walkthrough to show the cafe, show the location. So please uh, accept my apologies for it being a long video. I don't make these kind of uh, short one minute videos or TikToks uh, like a lot of people like to do. So please appreciate the longer video and I hope you enjoy it. And just like that, 796 is ready. And I'm fairly sure Right in front of me, this is mine. I've got my ticket there, 796. The big hit, fries, and Dobra Cola. Let's go find a seat and uh, see how it tastes. Now, hopefully I can find a table that's a little bit quiet and away from everybody so I can make a bit of a recording of the uh, tasting of the big hit combo. There's a lot of uh, full tables at the moment. So hopefully walking around, we can find a spot Okay, so I found somewhere to sit down and hopefully uh, it's not so loud and I can uh, make this kind of uh, review for you. So excuse me if there's a bit of a crop here and there and a cut because I'm uh, trying to do this uh, as unbiased as possible. Now, 
The one thing I'm going to note for you guys is if you might have watched my previous uh, reviews of Kuzni Itochka, they've now got branding on their packaging. So they've now got the logos, they've got the name of the store right on the packaging. Back when they first opened, these were just plain white cups. So now they've got the Kuzni Itochka logo. So they've kind of sorted it out. When they initially opened, there was such a short time frame from that initial handover to opening that they just had white boxes, white fry boxes, white drink cups, because they just basically sourced what they could from suppliers. And now, quite a lot of months since, they've got the full branding of Kuzni Itochka here. Now, of course, I've had Dobra Cola a lot since it came to Russia or <laughs> effectively took over at the place of Coca-Cola. Uh, there is a lot of colas in Russia. You can buy a lot of local Russian colas, a lot of the original Soviet brands that are now more in favor because things like Coke and Pepsi have left the market of Russia. So I'm not really going to review Dobro Cola. I know Dobro Cola is Dobro Cola. It's from the same factory that Coca-Cola was produced. So there's no difference to where it was originally from. And for me, For me, cola is cola. Is it exactly Coca-Cola? Maybe not exactly. One of the key ingredients is the syrup, and that's the bit that I think nobody in the world can reverse engineer and figure out, you know, how to make the exact replacement for Coca-Cola. But the fact it's from the same factory, the same brand, Multum Partners is the company that now runs and operates their business that was Coca-Cola if they did leave Russia. So, very interesting. Now you know I'm going to tease this out as long as possible and you have to wait till the last minute of the video to see the, the big hit tasting. But just talking about the fries here, again the box is now fully branded. Um, for me the fries are the same. Uh, are they exactly the same? I mean, I don't sort of see any difference. They're salted, they're tasty. Um, before all these events happened and Cousin Tochi took over McDonald's, I wasn't a big McDonald's fan. It wasn't my go-to restaurant. There's so many other choices in Russia, you know, more than just this place. But obviously for the sake of the video, you know, I've got to come, I've got to be the first YouTuber to taste the big hit in Russia. Uh, and I'm here today on that first day that they're here. So, I mean, honestly, the fries, are the same. I've seen people's reviews saying they're not exactly the same, but they're potatoes, they're from Russia, they're produced in Russia. You know, the potatoes weren't imported to make them different. They weren't coming from an American field in Iowa to Russia to make them any different. Fries are fries. Mm. And I'm hungry too, so. Maybe I'm a bit biased with my, my belly versus my, you know, my opinions. All right, let's get to the burger, shall we? So again, don't forget to check out Sam's Russian Adventure YouTube channel so you can see his tasting in provincial Russia. He's done a video today as well. We've tried to time the release of the videos so that you can watch his, his viewers can watch mine, and we can see if there's a difference or not. Now, I wonder if anyone remembers the original advertising of the Big Mac. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onion, on a sesame seed bun. Now, the one in Russia now has two types of sesame seeds, the, I guess the black and the white ones. So yeah, this <laughs> looks <laughs> for me exactly like the Big Mac used to look. You know, they were never beautiful out of the box, but for me, it looks and it looks exactly the same. And I like that sesame seed bun. It's really showing the sesame. Uh, mm. Now, Kuznik Tochka did say that there was a lot of delays in releasing this because they were trying to perfect the special sauce. Now, this special sauce right here that you probably very well know if you're a fan of McDonald's or you've been before, it took them more than six months to come up with the perfect sauce or what they think is the perfect sauce so that it matches the big hit to how they want it to be and how I mean are they copying I mean I won't say that because a lot of what Kuzni Tochka's done 
is their own product, is their own brand, is their own, you know, color, uh, you know, the different types of burgers. The kids menu is what fascinates me. The fact that you're not getting plastic toys, you're getting, you know, a book. You, kids can actually learn while they're here at Kuznari Tochka, but, mm. This, this really is a Big Mac. I mean, a big hit, it's called, right? A big hit. But looking at it, you know, tasting it. Mm. Maybe the, the, the sauce isn't quite as sharp. You know, if anyone's used to the, the sauce from the original Big Mac, it was always a bit tangy, the word tangy. And maybe this one's probably a little bit more uh, tastier versus tangy. Hope these words aren't confusing you, but I'm no Michelin star chef. I'm no expert in food tasting, but. Mm. <laughs> For me, this is a Big Mac. I mean, I know it's called the big hit. I know I'm in Kuznari Tochka. I know I'm in Russia. You know, I am in the original Pushkin Square location, where the first one opened. So I'm trying to do this as authentic as possible. Imagine 30 years ago, people lined up for hours and hours on end to get one of these. And today I just walked right in, went right up to the self-checkout self and got myself one, right? Just like this. So before coming to the restaurant today, I was actually reading the press release uh, that was put out prior to this morning on the first day that these were available. And Kuzni Tochka kind of kept their promise uh, from months and months and months ago last year that by February they'll have a alternative to the Big Mac. And the 27th of February today, <laughs> they managed to do it. <laughs> I mean, a day, one day under the time frame, but they came through with the promise though, right? Now I want to give you some closing thoughts and what I think of the big hit and maybe some points uh, for you to maybe comment on and let me know what you think. Now, the one thing I'm probably gonna get lots of comments on is the fact I ate my burger upside down. I take it out of the box and I'm eating it upside down. Is that the right way to eat a burger? I want everyone to let me know in the comments. Now, the one comment that I've had in previous tastings that I've done, I've done, I think this is now the fourth video. A lot of people say that I shouldn't be eating it's poison, you know, it's all bad for me. It's not healthy. I mean, I think we all know that coming in here, that, you know, it's not, you know, exactly healthy food. I mean, I had a bit of lettuce, I had some pickles, I had some potatoes, but, you know, the fast food is fast food, no matter where you are in the world. So, uh, hopefully you're watching for me, doing the tasting, and we're doing something a little bit historic here in the Pushkin Square location. So let me know what you think about that. I mean, I know there's a lot of people who don't necessarily like fast food. They don't like McDonald's. Understandable. I mean, I'm not a person that comes here all the time either. Uh, I like to mix up where I eat. I like to go to different restaurants, cafes, fast food places when I eat out. Uh, my wife wants me to eat at home and home cook food a lot as well. So um, yeah, it's, uh, that's obviously very opinionated also. Overall though, I mean, burger, fries, and a drink. I'm gonna, I was gonna say Coke, burger, fries, and a Coke. I think that's just so in our head, right? I mean, the fries are not exactly the same. I mean, they are a little bit thicker than what would be French fries, or do some people call them freedom fries? Um, but for me, <laughs> I'm not all that bothered, really. Dobra Cola, we know it's not Coke. It's Dobra Cola, we've got a, deal with it. I can go to so many places and get Coca-Cola in Russia. There's no uh, panic that I can't have it, you know, with this meal. I can go get it anywhere. How was the Big Hit Burger? It was good. It was very, very close. Uh, I mean, can you say it's the same? I mean, we're in the same restaurant, the same staff, the same uh, kitchen, <laughs> probably all the same ingredients, the same suppliers. So it's really, oh, it's the Rasmati. Hello. Watching Priyatna. 
Um, yeah, it's, it really is the same. I mean, the taste of the sauce, I think, is the only, only difference. It's probably not as tangy. Now, how you translate that word tangy is really up to you, but uh, it's got that same taste, that same consistency. The uh, look and feel of the burger is the same. Probably the bread is a little bit nicer, the sesame seed buns. So yeah, overall, I mean, I liked it. I mean, uh, will I come again? Of course I will. Uh, I don't always come to the one in Pushkin Square because this is a long way from where I live, but we had to come here to be historic and eat the first big hit at the first Kuzna Itochka in Russia. Now I've just realized I've got all the way to the, well, almost the end of the video, and I didn't take a thumbnail photograph. I've got to take one of those kind of photos of me holding the burger and eating the burger. So am I gonna have to order another one just with a photo? Maybe I'll have to. So I decided to order one more burger, not because I'm a, you know, I'm a big guts and I really want two burgers, but you know, for the sake of the video, I've got to make sure it's definitely what it says it is. And I've got a little bit of a surprise that I'm gonna show you in a second once we get back to our seat. So I decided not to order the whole kids combo, but I just decided I'd get the book and uh, this is it here. It's actually a little bit smaller than what I thought it would be. It's not uh, particularly large, but it's just interesting in Russia that you're not getting a toy, something that will get put in the cupboard. You can get something that you can actually read and, and learn something about. It says labyrinth for young geniuses. So am I the young genius? Let me know in the comments, but I thought I'd get one of these books and take it home as a bit of a souvenir. And uh, I'm gonna find someone to give this to later. Okay, everybody, as I work my way outside of Kuzni Itochka now, I thought I'd give you my final thoughts on tasting the big hit here at Kuzni Itochka in Pushkin Square. I thought I'd just give you that basic kind of final conclusion now. Overall, I'm gonna say it was an eight out of 10. Now, there's very few things that are a 10 out of 10. <laughs> no matter where you go in the world, any restaurant, doesn't matter how many stars, how many Michelin tires the restaurant's got. But the only reason I'm gonna give it a couple of points deduction is because of the sauce. Now, although the big hit combo meal, the burger, the fries, the drink, was really exactly as advertised. I just find that the sauce wasn't tangy and it wasn't as sharp as what the original McDonald's one was. Now, obviously, Kuzni Tochka spent six, seven, eight months trying to perfect this sauce. So it's not a simple process of just, you know, let's say the word copying something, coming up with what they think is a sauce that will befit the big hit burger. So uh, otherwise, I mean, I've been to Kuzni Tochka a lot. I don't necessarily come to this one at Pushkin Square very often because it's not anywhere near where I live in Moscow. So I thought it was befitting to be the first YouTube video, the first person in Moscow to make a video about tasting the big hit burger. So hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, post a comment, let me know what you think. You can uh, give some opinion about what I said. Maybe some opinion from yourself. Yeah, I put another video for you to watch right after this one. You can watch it right away after this is finished. And I'm off on another adventure. Bye everybody.